All right, you guys, we're here at my buddy's uh, birds and exotics of the world. Here with Kev, talking to him and teaching us a little bit of things about the birds here at his facility. Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah, here, put him right here. Go for him. So what we're gonna do this is, can you put food in your storage and stuff like that? Yeah, hell yeah. You're gonna go like this in your chest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then you're gonna go like this, and he's gonna fly to your glove while you're looking at him. So you stand right there. Yeah. I'm gonna get the fuck way. Right there, right here. You come in here if you want. Mm -hmm. um, you put down your left hand. All right, so this is how you hold them. You're gonna hold them like you're shaking somebody's hand, just like this. All right, if you go like this or like that, your arm is gonna get tired quicker. So you want like a natural move. So, and then when you put them here. There you go. Oh, it's ready to eat. Pretty good. I'm gonna drink. Of your crew. Right. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, a couple, right? So put your hand, you know. Right. Take a selfie real quick, bro. <laughs> Let's take a selfie, man. Hello, oh, Drake. Who's gonna hold him next? Yeah, I'll hold him next. <laughs> Here. <laughs> you guys are on watch, guys, right? Yeah. That's good. Me? No, no, Come on, bro. You're gonna go. It's game time, boy. It's game time. You're ready to roll. Get it. Got you, bro. Come on. Good boy. Go ahead, buddy. Come on. All right, you guys, we just left my buddy's Birds and Exotics of the World with Kevin, everybody. And then my buddy Rod from Predatory Fins just called me and said that he got in albino sturgeons. So I had to make a move. I had to make a break. And I have, like I told you guys before, I like white. I like animals that are white. I like albino things. And he had a, only a limited amount of them. So I went out there and I bought two and he gave me one extra one. So I have three albino sturgeons that I got. Beautiful fish. And we're going to put them inside of this thing right now. I got two giant 300 gallon tanks. I got another one that Rod gave me. We're making moves, you guys. We're getting a lot of things. We're getting a lot of things. We're getting, it's gonna be insane. The barn's coming soon in a couple months, but it's all right. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I probably already said that. Make sure you can put your post notifications on. Let's grab these albino sturgeons real quick, you guys. All right. I've had a drip line going right now for about 15, 20 minutes for these guys. These guys are beautiful, you guys. Here, come closer. I'm really close. Wow. Look at this, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A oh, 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 oh. oh, bino sturgeon, you guys. All right, let's put him in. Let's put him in. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, he's in. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. All right, he has to get his place back in. Wow, look at that, you guys. Look how big he is. It's an eight and a half inch, seven and eight inch of bino sturgeon, you guys. Beautiful fish. All right, we have one more we're going to get in right now. Watch out, Snickers. I guess Snickers always wants to be in the way. They spin out, they don't know where they're going. Look at that, you guys. Wow, look at those things, you guys. Complete albino. So we have two albinos, two normal scarlets, and then I have one that... Stickers, you can't do that. I have one that Rod gave me. He wants to see if it'll survive. I don't know if it's going to survive. What happened was a puffer fish was inside the same tank, and he didn't get the puffer fish in time, and the puffer fish took off the tail of the albino sturgeon. Put in the comments what we should name this guy. Hopefully this albino sturgeon does survive. 
He should be okay. It will heal. He's not going to have a tail, but he'll live on the bottom of the, the pond, the tank for his whole life, and he'll get very big still without a problem. So, keep you guys updated with that, and we'll see about that. But we're going to put that one in as of right now in there, too. I cannot believe, I cannot believe how beautiful these albino surgeons are, you guys. We have one last one to do. Let me take this strip line off. Stop wasting water. And let's get this last albino surgeon in. Like I said, this one's a little bit smaller. It's missing a tail, but... It'll be okay. It'll go to the bottom, and he should be all right. He still is able to swim. He's gonna have to work a little bit harder, but we everybody gets fed very good here, and everyone's gonna be awesome. Wow, you guys, look at all the fish you have in that corner right now. So we're somewhere in a restaurant, and we're uh, moving a big old tank, right, Jordan? Yes, sir. We got a bunch of heads with us. My God, that thing is a monster. Go slow, go slow, 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 slow. That's a tank, huh? Well, it has like carpet in here and shit. You can take all that off. All right, cool. Ready? Here. Here. Eat, eat. Like Sarkin, Exactly. Some big old tanks. Let's get it. Gonna watch. We're gonna put them inside the garage for now. We're not gonna set them up right now because I don't have the barn. I want to move them two times, so we're gonna do that right now. And, and Snickers are just flying around everywhere. What? Oh yeah, we got tanks after oh. tanks. Yeah. We in there. So put one tank right there. Yeah. Take that one. Put it here. Watch the goat. You guys are watching, right? There's one right here. The big tank. Like all this one's off. Daddy Yankee at it again. And now we have this giant sump. Wow, that thing is a monster. How come it has no glass? This is not the tank. Come on. Come on now. This tank, we just gotta build it. You guys, look, this is the other tank that I got from Rod that he donated to me for the ranch. Beautiful tank, look at this, you guys. I gotta clean it out and everything. For Predatory Fence, he donated it to me. It was awesome, it, I really appreciate what Rod's been doing and helping me out. Monster tank, 350 gallon just about. And then we have another 300 gallon tank over there that we're taking off right now. Those are of a longer system. What I'm thinking about, I'm telling you guys so much information, but it's all right, you just keep on watching. What I think I'm doing with that tank right there is I'm going to be um, putting cichlids inside of there. So it's going to be a very long tank and it'll be real nice to put rocks and everything inside of it. Where? You can't. This where? Come on, Daddy. Hold on. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Lift it up, boy. I did. Higher. Come on, one, two. All right, move it. Daddy, Daddy. Yo, Rod, you want this? How to ride it? Keep on that. And we lost the wheel on something. Hey, people need forklifts for this, right? Yeah, that's a big tank, you guys. My God. Same thing with this. Yeah. Let's leave it on the wheels. Leave it on the wheels. Yeah, leave it on the wheels, probably. Yeah, but you gotta get it. Get it up there, man. Smell like. Hold on. Damn, me, you mess. <laughs> he couldn't handle the weight. No wonder you missed your weight. He couldn't handle the weight. Hold on. Push down. Just keep back on work. You told me to push down. You ain't going nowhere. Alright you guys, 
this video was everywhere. I understand it was everywhere. You guys are probably like blinking your eyes like, my God, so much information in your head. Well, that's my life every single day. So imagine me trying to make sure I have somebody with me every day so I have a camera with me, following me around. It's crazy. My life is always just crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. You guys take a real closer look. The albino sturgeon that we just put in are freaking doing beautifully. Like, wow, I'm like speechless. The albino iridescent sharks, beautiful. We have the two normal scarlets doing beautiful. And then we have the one that has a missing tail. He got bit by a puffer fish. Hopefully it survives, We're not, I'm not sure. It's still able to swim. His fins are good, except he doesn't have a back fin. But if he grows up, he grows up. I will see you guys tomorrow or the next day. Like I said, every other day I'll be posting a video and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace out, you guys.